So, okay, so we are now going live. We'll give it a second to have it kick up on the actual Facebook group. Hello, hello, this is Jen Piseno. Today we are talking about stop wanting to be perfect. And this goes hand in hand with my chapter shared in the Ultimate Guide to Self-Healing, Volume 4, where I share about codependence and my path of destroying this unrealistic um, thought process of needing or wanting to be perfect and all the people pleasing that goes along with it. So today I want to share something with you guys that came up and I'm checking over here on the computer to see if anybody can see me and hear me. It's usually a little bit delayed, so bear with me. Nothing yet, but we'll just assume it's happening. So I want to read to you something that popped up on my feed yesterday, and it goes along with this subject and this longing that I think we have as women to get everything right, to have all the answers, to please everybody in our lives and communities. Um, and so today, the Tuesday tip is coming and is inspired by um, Mr. Bob Marley. So Bob Marley was once asked if the perfect woman existed. And he replied this way, who cares about perfection? Even the moon is not perfect. It's full of craters. And the sea, it's too salty and dark in the depths. The sky always so infinite, infinite. <laughs> that is the most beautiful things are not perfect. And obviously I just tripped on my tongue there to prove that. They are special and every woman, like every man she is and every person chooses who is special in their life. Stop wanting to be perfect. Try to be free and live doing what you love not wanting to please others. So with that being said, I wanna open up the conversation, very raw, very authentic, very vulnerable conversation of the places that you beat yourself up for not being perfect enough. I think that goes down not only into codependence, but also our self-worth, our self-love, and um, I saw a lot in the dance world, a lot with how people self judge their bodies in comparison to other women, the body movement that they have that's not good enough compared to somebody else. Um, we see it in our work, in our spiritual gifts, people judge each other that theirs aren't developed enough in comparison to somebody else. And it's all a crock of shit. It really is because the more we compare ourselves to somebody else, or the more we try to people please, um, both of those things block us from becoming who we are supposed to be becoming in our divine path. And I believe it's in a safe excuse to not become who we are and not to harness the power that we have within us by being these fierce forces of nature that's what I believe women are. And nature has all kinds of imperfections. And holding that in our hearts, I, I wish we could just look at each other in that way and honor each other in sacred space and in sacred virtual space and cele celebrate each other for the imperfections because that's what makes us unique. All the scars, all the bumps and bruises, the nicks, um, the hard knocks, that is the school of life. And it is what makes us incredibly strong. And in my opinion, more beautiful and wise. And that's the sacred medicine that we all carry as spiritual divine beings, as magic makers, as women of strength and courage. And how often we get in our own way by not feeling enough or not being enough or not doing enough with the woulda, coulda, shouldas. And those words I'd like to eliminate from my own vocabulary 
but also invite you to in eliminate them from yours so that this self-sabotaging, self-destruction stops because the more we try to align with perfectionism, the more we stop ourselves dead in our tracks. And all of you have so much wisdom and magic and power to share that we can't afford for you to stop in your tracks. We need you. You've been called to action. You've been called um, to be here. You wouldn't be in this group, in this virtual sacred space or in my circle if you weren't feeling the nudges. But feeling the nudge is not enough. You have to take action and intentional action at that. So what I wanna do is open a communication between us as strong, courageous women to make a agreement with each other that we will lift each other up and get out of our own damn way. And sometimes we need somebody to stretch out their hand to help us pull through the places of resistance so that we can get out of our own way, so that we can destroy, dissolve, and crash through the blocks that is right in front of us. And usually they're put there by our own hands because it's easier. It's easier to not be seen. It's easier to not be heard. It's easier to not be witnessed because that's what we're used to and it comes into a, a little box of confinement, but that little box sometimes is really cozy. We don't like being in a box, but yet we do because we wouldn't stay in it if we didn't like it in some way. So I'm inviting you to climb out of the box, fly out of the blocks, destroy the fucking box um, and help each other do that as well lean on each other, use this sacred virtual space as a sounding board, as a place of empowerment, as a place to generate new ideas and birth dreams into form without worrying about judgment because that's not gonna happen here. I won't allow it to happen here. This is a place that is safe place. You are loved, you are protected, and you deserve to be celebrated. So in the comments, if you will, I just want some really raw honesty. Where do you feel like you're in your own way right now? Where are you self-judging yourself because of these old beliefs of perfectionism? Whether you realize if it's self-love or self-worth or something else, I just want to get honest about where are we trying to do something so perfectly or trying to please everybody outside of ourselves that it's actually stopping what you're being led to do in the first place. So if you can do that with me, I appreciate it. I just want to hear from you, see you, witness you, support you. And if you need extra support, um, please reach out and we'll go from there. And um, I will be checking the comments throughout the day. So don't be shy, okay? Be willing to be seen, be willing to be heard. Let me embrace you and let the women in this circle here embrace you too. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon. For the, those of you on live circle with me, I'm about to end the live stream. If it hangs up, just pop back on Zoom so that you have your time to share individually.